Lebanon is a small Middle Eastern country of over 6 million people. But before the Syrian civil war, which started six years ago, its population was 4.5 million. The country now hosts more than 1 million refugees, registered by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. Of that number, 500,000 are school-aged children, but only half of them are in school. And so 250,000 Syrian children, about a quarter of a million, are currently not getting a formal education in Lebanon. As of May 2015, the Lebanese government instructed UNHCR to stop registering Syrian refugees, which means that the number of children out of school could be even higher. Um, but aside from the registered Syrian refugees, there's a whole other group of Syrians in the country who are not registered, who the government estimates to be about 500,000 people. So we don't know how many of those 500,000 are school-aged children. Lebanon is not a signatory to the United Nations 1951 Refugee Convention, and the country does not have national legislation that deals with refugees. The government currently offers Syrians temporary protection and refers to them as displaced. But Syrian refugee children can enroll in schools without proof of legal status. However, Stringent residency regulations remain a major barrier for Syrian families. Um, families that don't have residency aren't able to move around freely for fear of arrest, which means that more and more they're not able to work because they're afraid to go out and look for work. And that means that instead they are sending their children out to work. And so you're seeing a shift um, from children in school to children engaged in child labor. One strategy the Lebanese government has adopted to cope with the mass influx of refugees is a second shift, which essentially created afternoon classes in public schools only for Syrian refugee children. So Lebanon has done an enormous amount in uh, taking in about a million and a half Syrian refugees since the beginning of the war, um, and nobody can dispute that. And so of the 1,200 or so Lebanese public schools, about 330 of them uh, are now operating second shifts in Lebanon for Syrian children. Despite this, bullying and racism at second shift schools against Syrians has discouraged many refugee children from going to school. Um, and even to the extent where one school, uh, families reported that they were closing the bathroom and locking the bathrooms during the second shift because they didn't want the Syrian children using them. Um, and then also teachers who are really worn out, who um, are having to teach two shifts. Language is also one of the many limitations Syrian children face in Lebanese public schools. After seventh grade, um, the classes are actually taught in either English or French, whereas children coming from Syria mostly speak Arabic. Human Rights Watch estimates that at least 750,000 Syrian children are out of school in Turkey, Lebanon and Jordan, and rights groups are warning that these children risk becoming a lost generation. In one refugee camp in southern Lebanon, we met a girl who set up her own school because she was denied an education. She propped the blackboard against the tree and taught children in the camp until she was herself able to go back to school. There's an enormous amount of longing for an education among the refugee population, and I think that that's important to keep in mind.